draw this adorable rhino doodle? Well, if so, you are going to need something to draw on, something to draw your doodle with, something to erase any mistakes that you might make, and a marker to outline your doodle when you are done. And don't forget the crayons, the markers, the colored pencils, or the paint so we can add some color to our awesome doodle. Go ahead and grab all of those supplies and let's get started. started on our little rhino. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to draw our rhino's head and I've got a protective paper underneath my sketchbook paper to protect the back paper, the sheet that's behind the sheet I'm drawing on. So my paper is going to be vertical, which means that it is skinny this way, but it is tall this way. And I'm going to start with a very mm, gumdrop shaped head for my little rhino. They're my favorite to see when we go to the zoo. So I'm gonna do a nice curve for the top, but then I'm not gonna make a big curve for the bottom. I'm just gonna do a slight curve for the bottom to create kind of like a, maybe like a jello mold shape or a gumdrop shape. Um, just a short, flat, rounded blob shape. <coughs> On each side, I'm gonna go ahead and make the ears, and the ears are just going to be a little organic shape, kind of like a little wiggle here, that you definitely want to have smaller as it gets towards the head, but a little bigger as it comes out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just do a curved line, like I do in all of my little cartoon animal's ears. That way I can add a little pink in his ear and kind of break up the color of my animal himself. So now I'm gonna go right to the middle of his head and I'm going to give him his big triangle shaped rhinoceros tusk here. So kind of like a cone. I don't wanna point at the top. If you've ever seen a rhino, they're really not pointy. They're definitely a little more rounded. So I wanna give him a little bit of a rounded look. And then on each side, I'm just gonna do a slight little curve. And that's just to kind of help show that this isn't just flat on his head, it is kind of coming out a little bit. And you can go ahead and give him or her a little smile and his eyes. I'm gonna go in and give him his eyes right here. And I definitely think I want two of the shine marks to help give him a little bit of life. And there's my rhino's head. Look how cute he is. And the body is gonna be pretty simple, kind of like a good majority of our little characters are. I'm going to come from the neck and I'm going to curve out and down. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, out and down. So that way we've got the front legs more rounded in. Cause I want him to kind of look maybe a little bit like a baby rhino, maybe just a young little guy. And then inside I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna curve in or out and down. Ignore the fly flying around. And then I'm going to turn my paper and do a curved line for the bottom of my little rhino's feet. And down here, I'm gonna add a couple little toes. So I'm gonna do some kind of hill shapes here that are just gonna kind of go off the paper. And that's just gonna be the little toes for my rhino. And a curved line in there for where he is sitting on the ground. And so far, so good, right? Look how cute he is. All right, next, I'm gonna go right next to his arm and I'm gonna create a foot. And his foot is going to be just kind of that big, rounded, kind of a triangular shape. Maybe more of an upside down egg shape. And then in the middle of his foot, I'm going to repeat that shape just to give the bottom of his foot just a little bit of a different color when I color him in. And then on the tip of his foot, I'm gonna go ahead and do three rounded half circles for his toes. 
That way it kind of matches our nails here, but since we're looking at the foot this way, we can have them coming off of the foot. And then I'm just gonna make a nice curved line from here into his body for his legs, cause he's just sitting down. Look at how adorable. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw in a horizon line and ground my little adorable rhino to the ground there. Look at him, I love him. I'm going to use my Crayola Twistables to go ahead and color him in, but grab whatever supplies you want, paint, markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever works for you. And let's go ahead and add some color to our adorable little rhino. Look at how cute our little rhino turned out. I hope that you had fun drawing with me today. If so, please like, subscribe, and share the video, and come back every day for some more fun doodles with me. I cannot wait to see you again next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.